I am the Crowbar, and welcome to my guide for Metal Gear Rising. The first part of the game here, uh, Mission Zero, is a prologue for the rest of the game. You don't have all of your abilities just quite yet, and uh, it keeps track of statistics for the game a little bit differently. These first few enemies here are just kind of an easy tutorial for getting into combat and everything. You know, if you didn't do the VR tutorial, it's good just to kind of get a grasp of what your abilities are. And uh, for anyone interested, uh, I've played the game through a couple times at this point. Um, this run is a fresh run. I'm playing on normal mode. I'm going to be providing locations for all of the collectible items and all of like the special fight achievements that you can get while you're playing through the game. After you've had enough of these guys, you can slash this gate and go through to your first boss fight, which is Metal Gear Ray. He's not too bad of a boss fight. He's mainly threatening at mid to long range. And what you want to do is do like what I'm doing here and run up and attack his feet. That's your first target. After doing enough damage to his feet, um, you'll get a prompt to enter into blade mode, which will allow you to cut up the armor on his legs. And that'll reduce his health quite a bit there. And you want to do that for each... You probably have to do that for each leg about twice to get through the full thing. Now see, when you're at mid-range, he'll try to attack you with his blade arm and a couple of other moves. And this is actually how you get the uh, special achievement for uh, this boss fight, is you need to wait for him to try and attack you with his tail, and then parry his tail strike. The move he used there, um, his plasma cannon, I think is what they call it, is it's really highly damaging, and uh, you really need to avoid that. Uh, but he telegraphs it a whole bunch, obviously it's a giant glowing beam that he shoots out of his mouth. So occasionally he sweeps it back and forth, and if he does that, then you need to jump over it. But most of the time he just does an aim shot. And you can avoid all of his missiles and bullets that he shoots at you from longer range by just ninja running around. And there's the tail strike, and if you parry that, and then attack him then this will chop off his tail, and that gets you the secret achievement trophy for this boss fight. And has a whole bunch of damage, too. And so, because you do that, because I did that, I didn't have to do um, a fourth attack against his feet. So after you've sort of done those three big animations like that, he'll jump back and make a move to strike you again with his big arm blade. And then you'll get a prompt to catch the arm blade, which enters you into a little quick time event, and you just complete your quick time event and that'll kill him. Yeah, Ray, he's a pretty easy boss fight, pretty obviously early game. I got an S rank on this fight without really trying to get one, so it's not too bad. If you're fighting him, go ahead and head into this little um, ruined building here, hop on through. And uh, when you come out the other side, you'll see uh, the guy carrying the president that you're supposed to capture. And this is also going to be the location of your first collectible item which is down in this little grate here. You need to cut the uh, grate off and then slide down into it. And this is going to be data storage. There's 20 of those throughout the game, and there's another one a little later on in this mission, and that's the only collectibles. 
the game tells you at this part that you need to be fast and keep up with that guy, but you really don't. It doesn't matter how fast you go here. And then, once you reach this rooftop here, uh, Ray will be back for round two. This fight's a bit harder than the other one. He's a bit more aggressive. But he always has, he has a set pattern and he does pretty much the same attacks all the time. First thing he does is a little beam sweep from left to right and right to left. Just jump over that to avoid it. And then for attacking, just attack his head between strikes. After the first time, he'll do a strike at you, and then at this point, if you've done enough, enough damage, you'll get the prompt to enter blade mode and chop up his head a little bit. When he puts his um, arm out like this, he's going to do missiles. Just go to the side, enter in blade mode, and do vertical slices to chop the missiles before they get to you. That's his other strike that he does with the head. It'll be aimed at the wall. He gets stuck. You can attack him a whole bunch. His head strikes are they're really damaging if they actually hit you, but they're kind of hard to get hit with. If you do a little more damage, you get another prompt to do a blade mode attack. These missiles that he fires at you like this, too, can be um, slashed, and they will drop uh, healing items. <sighs> then, once you get enough damage, he'll hop back and shoot a whole bunch of missiles at you, and you get a little prompt to run along the missiles here. Let's get you back up to him in another blade mode sequence. You'll get chucked up here on the top of a clock tower, and you'll run down the side to go fight him. You have to avoid the missiles, avoid the obstacles on the building, and avoid the laser. Uh, depending on the difficulty you're playing here, the laser pattern will actually be different. Um, jumping is probably the easiest way to avoid the laser, no matter where it's attacking you from. And then you jump down on his head and do another little button press sequence, and you got him. There is a little bit more gameplay after this point, but you're pretty much done once you fight Ray. There's nothing else that you get, you're get. you getting tracked on for this mission. There is another data packet uh, right before you see the enemies. You just drop down off of this boxcar, and it's right there on the train. Um, after you do the whole cutscene, you'll get into a fight with uh, Jetstream Sam here. And you don't need to worry about this fight. You can't win. And you'll always lose. You always lose. And it's basically just about maybe trying to hold out as long as you can. He's kind of a good little tutorial for maybe parrying, but eventually he'll get an attack on you and kill you, and that'll end the mission.